he accepted to the murder of those three women. He also said that he was planning to murder the fourth one. When I asked him why, he said, it's because of what women had done to him all his life. He said when he was a kid, when he was about nine years old, his mother passed away. By the time he was 10, his father remarried. This new woman was much younger to his father. By the time he was 13, this woman came on to him. He could never touch her. She was his stepmother. He refused. When the father came back home, she, she told the father that your son tried to touch me. He tried to come on to me. The father beat him up, black and blue, and kicked him out of the house. He was this 13-year-old boy who didn't know what had happened to him. He was homeless, hungry. He was adopted by an old couple who said they'd take care of him. They didn't have any children. As luck would have it, the old man's wife was distinctly younger to him. She came on to Rajesh as well. Rajesh being the good boy that he was, he denied. She accused him, he was kicked out again, he was back on the road. He took up a job at a, at a general store by the time he was 18. He was, he was studying simultaneously, he was, he was working in this general store. And something similar happened there as well. It was almost like, like a comedy of errors. He didn't know what to do, why? Why was he being treated that way? It wasn't, wasn't even like he wanted anything from those women. That was his punishment for being clean. But somehow life went on, he became a lawyer and a good one at that, a successful one at that. He thought he had put the past behind him. Until one of his clients, his first victim, became very close to him. They started seeing each other in a, in a sense. 